everyone. In this quick video, I want to show you how you can integrate your MailChimp account with Webinar Press plugin so that when anyone registers on any of your webinar would also be subscribed to a specific list of audience in your MailChimp account, which is selected in Webinar Press uh, plugin. And I'm going to show you how this will happen and how this will function basically. So I'm right here in my MailChimp account and uh, the screen where I am at right now is uh, right here under extras. You can see API keys. So you have to click that and this screen would open up. Now we will have to create a key which we can use in Webinar Press plugin. So I've just clicked on create create a key and our key is ready. So it is very simple. It is, it would not require you to have any sort of technical knowledge. So you just can copy this key and we have to go in the back end of our webinar press plugin. And I am here right at in uh, settings option and then you have to click on mailing list. So you can integrate other service providers as well, but I'm just showing you MailChimp right now. So you have to just paste the key and we will click on check. It will verify whether our key is uh, is basically a valid one. So we'll check it. Okay, so it, it means that the key which we created there, we have correctly pasted here the key without any errors it, it says looks great but don't forget to click on save option otherwise uh, it will not work so click on save here okay now we have completed the integration of mailchimp with the uh, webinar press plug and now we're going to check it how this whole things actually work we'll go in one of the webinars the this is only for the purpose of testing so <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've just named it checking in. Uh, I mean, there is no such sort of webinar <laughs> checking in. Okay, so we, we will, what we're going to do now is um, we will go right here. You have to scroll down a little bit and you will see mailing list option. You can see here, you have to click on this. Now you can see that there is already a MailChimp selected. And you can select the list of audience, basically list of audience where you want your subscribers to go. So what I mean by that is we have selected this uh, specific audience. We'll save this setting. And uh, what I mean by, uh, you know, th this setting to work is basically whenever someone tries to like whenever someone registers on the website let's say uh, ash uh, ash at ash dot com and let's just ash okay now when i sign up on this page this specific user will also be added to my subscriber list specific list which i've selected in mailchimp so you can start uh, sending them emails which you want so that's it if you have any questions you can always contact us back thank you so much